Paul's chicken has been marinating in the fridge and is now ready to cook. He's using a preheated oiled oven tray to get instant heat onto the chicken. Right, now all we need to do uh -huh. is stick the chicken onto the baking tray. So this is like your tandoor? Yeah, it is, Cheap. but it's not a tandoor oven, oh, no. and it, I'm not really pretending it is, but it is a great way of doing the same thing at home. But okay. just a nice hot tray, stick the chicken on, there we go. On there like that. Okay. okay. The chicken then goes into the oven at 240 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes, and whilst that's cooking, he can move on to his salad. I'm going to take some chopped tomato, and put that in the bowl like that. Some shredded red onion. I'm just going to give that a bit of a squish around, mm, just to soften it up, get, bruise it a little bit as it's going get the in. the flavours out. Yeah, some gem lettuce. Remember, okay. this is quick and simple, and I think what's really important is we build a balanced meal mm -hmm. as well as a spicy, tasty mm -hmm. one. Just scrape the seeds out of that yep. cucumber half and then moon. sliced it in at half Almost moon. Almost half moon. Half moon. Paul finishes his salad with some finely chopped mint and coriander before making a simple dressing of white wine vinegar, caster sugar and chilli oil. And with his salad dressed and a roti popped on the griddle, Paul's almost finished. Time for Ching to rustle up her simple egg fried rice. The trick is good cooked rice. Do you need to start with it from cold? I, I need to start with it cold. Right, so yeah. it wouldn't do to cook it and then use it straight away, straight into the wok. Well, I, I, for me, it's best not to. When the steam comes out of the rice it, and it hits that wok, it doesn't go slightly sort of toasty or crispy okay. or have that go away wok hay flavour. It's, it has this kind of soggy flavour mm. to it. It's mm. a little bit, you know, it's damp like okay. that. So while the wok is heating up, I'm just going to crack my eggs. Ching whisks her eggs before adding to the hot wok with ground nut oil. What I like to do is scramble the egg first yes. and then I'm going to add it into the rice because that way the rice doesn't get soggy. Once the egg is scrambled, she transfers to a plate and heats more ground nut oil before adding sliced French beans and grated ginger. And at this stage, I don't want to overcook the beans. I like right. them to have a little bit of a bite. French. So in with the rice. So give this a good mix. There you go. And then introduce the egg back in. Mix it together and then in with the spring onions. Very, very easy, very simple. And then just a sprinkling of salt and then about two generous tablespoons of a good light soy sauce. The trick to making fried rice really tasty, I think, comes in the seasoning at the end, right. which is the light soy, a little bit of salt, a little bit of ground white pepper, just layering the flavours. So it's all very delicate, light. And then a must for me is a final seasoning of a good toasted sesame oil. Ah, oh, right, OK. Fried rice done, Ching moves on to her crispy chilli beef. And my favourite ingredient in Chinese cooking is actually corn flour. OK. Because what it does, it helps bind flavours together. It's very starchy. This is something else I've wondered how they do, right. When it fries, it's going to be really crispy. It's going to seal the juices of the actual beef in yep. there, which is great. So there should what still be some beefiness to the... Yes, you, you there know, must It shouldn't be. dry out so much no. that it's just a texture. Exactly. So, basically, wok really hot, and I'm just going to add it into the wok. So you would need to cook this as you're ready to serve it, really, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, exactly. Yeah. But lovely. I just want a crispiness to it. I don't want it to be overcooked. As long as it's golden... Is that why you're lifting it out? Just, just I'm checking just it all gently, the time? gently, yes. I want it to be lovely and, you know, golden and crispy on the outside, like that. Perfect. Yeah. She drains the beef, then starts her sauce by adding ground nut oil, grated ginger, soy sauce, sweet chilli sauce and the juice of half an orange to a hot wok before leaving to reduce. OK, so the sauce has bubbled. OK. okay. And you're sort of reducing that down to quite a sticky consistency, Yes, I want it you? to be really sticky and sort yep. of, like, glossy like yeah. that, OK? And then in with the pineapple. And that's going to add lovely, fresh sweetness to the dish. And then in with the beef. Now, it's important to just serve this straight away cos the beef will start to get sort of soggy, you know, right. the outside. Right. So I just want to lightly coat it and actually I'm ready to plate up. OK, I'll be really quick, so I'd hate yours to spoil in anyway. Yeah, don't sabotage my dish. <laughs> OK, perfect. And with that, they're both ready to serve. Mmm, that looks good. Looks all right, doesn't it? Go. That's it. I'm done. OK, 
Okay, there you have it. My simple, sweet, chilli, crispy beef. Fantastic. And there is my even simpler tandoori-style chicken with a funky salad and a roti. Looks good. Time for Paul and Ching to find out which simple Saturday night in dish is perfect. Let's see what it says. OK, it says crispy sweet chilli beef with egg fried rice, one. OK. Tandoori style chicken with Asian salad, rightfully, two. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, hey, Congratulations. Neck neck. <laughs> Bring on the decider. Yes. The judges liked Ching's sweet, crispy beef and egg fried rice, but weren't convinced by the pineapple. For them, Paul's tandoori-style chicken and zingy salad totally delivered on taste and simplicity.